Susul Welcome back to Under the Plum Bob Podcast. It's your favorite tangent team, Team Calplant. This is Marissa. It's Vanity. And it's Ava. Hello. (laughs) (laughs) Just the gentle singing. I love it. Yeah, we're going to ease you into this episode. But it is actually a really exciting episode. We are getting together once again for an expansion pack review. And the expansion pack we're going to be talking about today is Get Together. Uh, see what you did there. <laughs> we're getting together for Get Together. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. It's all, come, it's all you know, working you out. jokes, what? Marissa. I like it. I try. Yeah. yeah. I try. Um, so this is... As weird as Get Together is, it's honestly one of my favorite expansion packs, but not, like, as a whole. Just every individual part of it I like, but it does not make sense to me together, if that makes sense. Mm, I forget I have it in there all most of the time. Same. (laughs) Like, I literally forget that it exists. Um, And the only reason... Like I, I, it just kind of fades into the background for me, um, until those fuckers call about joining a club, and I'm like, oh yeah, no, and yeah, that, that happens. Yep, no, that's pretty much it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really, unless you're like living in Windenburg, and I love Windenburg, but, and I mean, I'm not from like England or London, and maybe that's a a really a common thing where these kind of hooligan party people live in Tudor style neighborhoods <laughs> and have underground DJ hooligan no, people. <laughs> I know that's what I'm saying. Like that's not a thing. Like I, I mean I'm not from Europe, so I can't say definitively like this has never happened. But like We definitely don't live in Tudor style mansions. Yeah, but like and the I'm people who do party people myself, but yeah, like who lives in a Tudor mansion and then is a secret underground DJ in a fucking bluff? You know, it's just like what? Like it's just all like too many random individual things that just kind of got thrown in. It's almost like if they played a game like style neighborhood, new skill, new item, and just tossed it all in a bag or in a hat, you know, wrote all those things down, tossed them in a hat, and then just picked three out. It's like, okay, two just style houses, DJing, clubs. All right, that's the new pack, guys. Like, that's what it feels like to me. It feels very just kind of yeah, mixed. it's like, we need a setting. We need a setting for this pack. Uh, uh, England. Let's, let's get England. Okay, what do we got? We got coasts. Yeah, coasts. English coasts are nice. Uh, we got Tudor, Tudor mansions. Yep, Tudor mansions. Cool, cool, cool. Let's do that. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, uh, I don't know. Narwhals. <laughs> <laughs> narwhals. Isn't one of the one of the pubs is called the Narwhal or something? Isn't yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. There's the Sims are always going after the unusual animal. Uh, like in their, you know, llama. Obviously, there is a lot of narwhal lore. Not lore, but like stuff in other games too like they'll name things after narwhals it's just kind of random i don't really get it i will say though the first time i got invited out to one of those parties on the bluffs or whatever i was like this is going to be stupid and it was so cool <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's like the smoke effects and everything yes, uh, the dj and everybody's like yeah. getting all happy to play a certain song or whatever it is and i was like this is this is awesome and the dj looked like one half of daft punk i think like so i think what confuses me about the neighborhood of get together is that it's it's one of the biggest neighborhoods it's huge it's beautiful it's a beautiful neighborhood but my issue with it is that get together is supposed to be you know obviously fucking get together right and i almost wish that it was laid out like city living where there would be 
a neighborhood and then a cafe or the bluff or whatever it is, like a, a neighborhood surrounding a certain venue. And each club would meet at this specific venue. But you lived right outside it, so you could just go out of your house or whatever and go to the bluffs. And then there would be DJ party booths, you hang out with your friends. Or if you were in the upper crust club, there would be a nice cafe or library or whatever, and you would just walk outside and there'd be a nice library and you could hang out with your club. You know what I mean? Like, like how get together is like, if you live in the spice district, there's the spice festival right downstairs. You just go downstairs. There's a spice yeah. festival. Like I wish it was set up that way. Cause that would encourage you to go out more. If it's right outside, you'll go out and more hang out in that little square that's in your neighborhood and you just do whatever like that neighborhood would make, or that neighborhood setup would make more sense to me, but it's not. It's Windenburg. It's like a huge, vast neighborhood. There's a fucking island. Like it's not near anything. Yeah, that and ferry to- tickets aren't cheap, man. <laughs> yeah, that's what's so weird. It's like there's a whole island, and like you would have to put a a cafe or a bar on there that's not on there naturally. You know, there's just houses on there. So I don't know. That's my that's my thought. That's my critique of get together is that it's not really encouraging you to get together with your friends. It's not encouraging you to get together. <laughs> I okay, so let's back up a little bit and let's talk about the <laughs> basics of get together. Okay, so first of all, fast facts. Get together was uh, released in North America in, on December eighth, twenty fifteen, and then it was released in Europe on December tenth. I don't know why they did a two-day, like, gap. They always used to do that in Sims 3 as well, and it drove me bonkers. Like, they would redo, they would do U.S. releases on a Tuesday, but the rest of the world had to wait until, like, Friday. That's because, weird. Because that was their, like, their, their European release schedule for some reason was always on a Friday. So I would always, like, lurk on the forums for information about it, about the upcoming packs, which was fun. But then every time it got released on Tuesday, you would see all these people like posting, oh, man, I got the game. It's so great. Look at all these screenshots. Look at how much fun I'm having. Mm -hmm. And then you were sitting there. Great. Got to wait until Friday. Fuck you. I mean, at least you're not a a console player because they had to wait fucking three years. Yeah, what the fuck is up with that? 2018. 2018. Like, do you have like a, I wonder like, the developers have like a console division, like a PC division, and like y'all don't both work on the same thing at the same time. Like you should have like a okay, we do console, we do PC, and then like, but three years, did y'all like have a mass exodus? Like did some of y'all just leave and like uh, I don't do this anymore? And is it do so? Like what took so long? Maybe and, that would make sense because yeah, three years was, is they did time. not start working on that game until after it came out. Three I'm years. Just, yeah, that's a long They time. did not stop. The mm-hmm. Sims 4 yeah. didn't come out on console until 2017, so that makes sense. Oh. oh. And then they had the... Re- it came out, it came out on November 17th, 2017. They got one, two, three, four packs that, that released in 2018 alone, oh. including Get Together in September. Could you imagine, like, getting your console? I mean, cause I'm sorry, but fucking Xbox games or they whatever do. cost a lot. Like and then, yeah, and then, that and then, and then you roll out those packs like right after one after another like yeah like five in a year or whatever yeah that's just, ew, that's like, a lot of fucking money to roll out one time like ooh. Yeah. <laughs> okay so um thanks for that snapple fact Ava correction <laughs> corner right <laughs> sorry Deb we weren't now we're not shitting on you anymore never mind never mind never mind we get it we, get it. <laughs> we, get it. we love you. <laughs> <laughs> so this pack, if you are comparing and contrasting to previous Sims editions, it's similar to um, Sims 2 Nightlife, which was my jam. Mm-hmm. Um, some aspects of house party, some mm-hmm. aspects of hot date, um, free um, Sims 2 free time, and the Sims 3 late night, and the Sims 3 university life. Yeah. Okay. There's like, because if you think about it, you had like the fraternities and shit that were, that was in... Mm-hmm. Um, What's it called? What's that place called? Uh, the university. university. So when it comes to 
this game to get together. You, of course, as Marissa mentioned, you get a whole new, like, town, little world. You get Windenburg. I fucking love that town. It's so oh. pretty. And I think it's because yeah. I really do love, like, little European towns, and that's what Windenburg reminds me of. It's, that English countryside vibe is so, the best. Oh, especially if you go, if you have a dog and you walk your dog around it, it's just mm. so nice. I don't even like dogs. I'm kidding. I like dogs. <gasps> oh. I'm totally kidding. My heart, my heart literally jumped. I was like, What? <laughs> I'm kidding. He's like, yeah, it's, it's okay that you don't like kids, but if you don't like dogs, <laughs> oh boy. Stop the presses. And that's when cow plant disintegrated. Yep. Um, but yeah, no, it's so pretty. It's like the prettiest. I wish that, like, I think that's one of the first, was Windenburg, where you, once you got Island Living, you could walk into the water. Was it Windenburg? Um, oh, I know be? one of them is. One of them you can wait into the water. But I don't sure if it I know it's um what's the face the what, what's his face there uh the promenade where you oh, can uh, magnolia yeah, promenade yeah you could yeah. Do, I know you could do it there I don't think you can I do think you can walk I think people wanted you to be able to swim in Windenburg but you can't you can only wade yeah right. if only so, man if only. I know Windenburg's right bio is so cute I'm gonna read it because it's really great. Take ye old deep breath and enjoy the mountain air. This green, expansive playground has got it all. Lush countryside, serene and rocky cliffs, a quaint village with remnants of the old world all nestled around the modern shoreside business center. Windenburg. It's so cute. I love that town. Like, I feel like if you're That's like, cute. do I want to get, do I want to get, get together? I mean, for Windenburg alone, you should. I agree. I agree. And I often will take out all of those nonsense townies and put in my own that make more sense with the she culture. Nonsense you know. townies. <laughs> they are. I'm sorry. They're nonsense townies. I love all of the townies, but I put most of them in um, City Living or, or San Masuno because they make more sense in San Masuno. Anyway. <laughs> so yeah, San Masuno does feel like more of a kind of like club vibe yes yes especially when you have like djs and underground parties and you know raves and stuff like that you don't exactly immediately think ye old english countryside exactly like rave (laughs) don't fall and when i have mcc installed most of them most of the windenburg people moved to city uh god that's really living most of them moved to San you know anyway literally that's how the game just naturally does it so it's like Okay, you know, like they all moved to San Mysuno. And I'm I love the concept of San Mysuno. I think City Living is the best pack. I think it all works and I love it, but I want something like that for Windenburg. And then I want a separate thing with the Windenburg. I don't know. Anyway, continue. I'm just I think Windenburg (laughs) should have like a lot of like older like maybe like richer like old money families kind of like um the goths and like the you know because like old like old just like old money and like intrigue and you know down to that yeah, down to like, you know like yes yes like who done it exactly who yes. done it come it would have been would have been perfect for the mm-hmm. get to work detective career yes that's what i want that's what I want. I want. You can dress up in like a cool suit, snazzy uh-huh. suit, and a little bowler hat. Get yourself a nice little wax mustache, and you can be your cool Poirot. Yes. Mm-hmm. You can mm-hmm. interview old ladies clutching their pearls, like, I would never poison my husband. And it's like, yes, you would. <laughs> you totally poisoned your husband. <laughs> you know? Like, and I want like trains. They could have added like cool trains, like how the, the fairy is in um, Cats and Dogs. But yeah. like make it a train so you could go one area to the other because it's huge neighbor or uh, world, you know. So like, the, you know what I mean? There was a lot that could have been done differently that they did not do. Hey, yeah. modern and, good on that. You I, I get, yeah, I get that they wanted like the juxtaposition of like modern and like old old world, new world. I guess was like their idea, but eh, I don't think it hit the mark personally. <laughs> so. Windenburg has four neighborhoods and three special lots, so you get a crap ton of, like, you have a lot of, um, 
like vacant house. You have a lot of houses to pick from, which is nice. Um, I always pick the same one, which is ridiculous because I don't. I just it's so I just like that house. And all honestly, like a lot of the times, if you just go into the already made houses, the in these night in the nicer ones, it's really well decorated. Mm-hmm. It is. I'm like, oh, look at you, looking all nice and stuff. Like got everything like, you need. Some of the mm-hmm. like um, one of the apartments in city living has that it's like a yellow kind of apartment like all of the like the, the table i think the kitchen counters are like yellow something like that it's a really pretty apartment mm-hmm. i forgot what it is but i like it anywho so, i love that mm-hmm. one house um i think it's in the countryside where it's literally just a um house but it's at the bottom of a hill and it's surrounded by plants if you hashtag if you look up the hashtag under the plum bob podcast and plum bob pod on the gallery i made like a little cottage it was the cottage i made for luna lovegood vanity um, oh i love that that lot is one of my favorites because it's it's literally at the bottom of a hill it's surrounded by lush greenery it's just this kind of hidden away like oasis area That's for sure my favorite area just like that whole rural english English, English <laughs> countryside. Mm-hmm. That's that's my oh, that's my dream. That's my that's my retirement dream. I just want a cottage in the English countryside with like just just greenery everywhere. A couple chickens yeah. in the backyard, maybe a horse. I don't know. It's like a, 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 a little corgi, my cats. That's oh, all I want. Little corgi, the king, the queen would approve. <laughs> His his name would be Potato, and I would love him so much. Oh, Potato! <laughs> that's potato. really cute. <laughs> potato. There's a, they look like potatoes with legs. There's a YouTube video it's called "I'm a Potato," and it's a potato scene. <laughs> it's like my theme song. Please look up "I'm a Potato" <laughs> guy. It's I'm a potato. Great. It goes. I'm a potato. It goes. I'm a potato. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's so freaking funny um it's great it's it's literally how i feel about my life i'm literally a potato and i love potatoes so it's okay um <laughs> it, <laughs> anyway uh tangent go ahead and hydrate remember we're team hydrate anywho so you have like a tr- okay oh the lighthouse it's so nice guy you have a lighthouse on the island and mm-hmm. like like a family lives there. Kick them out. It's the, it's some Swedish family. Um, Jurgensen. With a, with yep. a J. Do you say the B? Is the B silent? Is the J silent? Is it Bjergsen or is it Jurgensen? It's all there. Bjergsen? It's, it's, it's Bjergsen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, oh. You just had to make a little oh. accent on it. Like it's, it's, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Wait, wait, say it again. Say it again. Bjergsen? That was less confident. I like the first one better. That was more confident. First one was more confident. I like I I I like their house. Their I house like is the house. fucking best. It's beautiful. That's one of the few houses I don't really have to like redecorate. Yeah, I like love I'll add more CC clutter, but that's about it. Like it's so nice. Also, we have the Von Windenberg Estate mm-hmm. with the Villarreal family in it. Mm-hmm. Um, which has an access to the bluffs, which is like I don't know some secret ass like hidden hidey hole. Mm-hmm. It's cool. Well, it's like a cliff, basically. <laughs> like, oh, here's a nice cliff you can dance around on. <laughs> it literally reminds me of um, Weathering Heights. Like you're just gonna go to some cliff and just fall oh. the fuck mm-hmm. off of it. I don't know. Like, is that the one with the pool? <laughs> the bluff. No, no, it's it's where they have the underground secret DJ, and there's like that. It's a pool, but it looks like a lake, basically. Or yeah, but that's what I meant. Where you, oh, have, where okay. you can where you can go for a swim as well. Because I yeah, I rarely like, get the great. bluffs one. I like I get the bluffs one occasionally. I do prefer the bluffs one, but usually when they call me for a party for a secret underground party, it's either at the Von Haunt Estate or the ruins. <laughs> Yeah. Nobody calls you for the bluffs. Nobody, nobody wants to invite me to the bluffs. 
Nancy Rowan's is cool too. And I like how there's woohoo bushes like everywhere in this town. <laughs> Literally, everywhere you look, woohoo bush, woohoo bush. It's so funny. True. This town is just full of people who want to bang in bushes. Like, I feel like that should get really thorny in your butt. You know, like. Ooh. I just, I don't know. They all like rose bushes to me, and roses have thorns. Just like roses. Them. Really? Yeah, pl- like plus, poo-poo. plus, seriously, there's fucking bugs in there. You know there's bugs in there. Why would you? Why? But are we going to get back into the vanilla ice cream conversation? Because that is not a conversation that I want to have. <laughs> oh, God. No. No. I've learned my lesson. We're not going there. <laughs> I had a brownie Sunday the other day, and I had to go pick the ice cream I wanted to put on it. And I was like, I'm going to pick the cookie two-step. <laughs> the, the, I'm sorry. The what? Oh, yeah. So, bo- tangent, if you're not a Texan... Bluebell ice cream um, is the shit. And they have called something called um, the Texas two step or the cookie two step, if you will. And it's um, van- it's ice cream and it has, it's like a cookie dough and the um, like the Oreo ice cream, whatever, you know, the cookies and cream ice cream smushed together. It's amazing. ETW. You're welcome. That sounds amazing. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> we, 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 we get Ben and Jerry's here now, but still not like all of them. Mm. If I could ship you ice cream, I would totally ship oh, you ice cream. God, I, don't know, I, don't I wish you could ship me ice cream, but I don't think that'll work. <laughs> I would ship you some blue ball ice cream, a different like assortment. Look, um, we we could just we could just get it. You know what? I'll fly to Texas and have blue blue, blue bell ice cream. Yes, I'm down for this. I will cool. I will stock up things Texasy things for you. I don't know what else is Texasy. Maybe more, some barbecue sauce. I don't know. Oh Ooh. yes, cows. Is that cows and bulls? <laughs> I mean, I'll just get Deer. you a burger. All the beef. <laughs> All the beef. Just Basically, barbecue. Just take, just take me to a barbecue. Everything. <laughs> Yeah, get, you. get into Texas. They're just going to throw barbecue at you, and yes. then you leave. That's yes. just how it works. And country music. They're just going to throw music and barbecue sauce at you. I can do without the country music. You're not getting it in my car. Oh, my <laughs> God. Wait, you guys, is this like a bonding moment? Do we all really dislike country music? <laughs> I, think we I knew we were a good team. We're such a good team. Team Cowboys. I make one exception on the country music front, and that is Dolly Parton. I was, I was going to say Johnny Cash. It's like Johnny Cash is okay. We'll accept him. Him and him and Dolly are fine. Him and Dolly are fine. All the rest can fuck off. I will accept Johnny. I just can't. I just can't. I literally. Can't and run. like for me, Johnny Cash doesn't even sound like country music to me. So that's why I listen to him because it's like just sounds like good music. <laughs> True. Um, I have a question. What What is a kid yeah. rock? What? <laughs> what is it? What is What is kid rock? What is he? Is he a country musician? Is he what? What is he? I don't he's, know. Because um, apparently he doesn't like of, Taylor Swift. He's just a lot of whiskey tango guys. I don't know. I don't know. And whiskey tango for you guys who don't know is white trash. Uh, oh, ooh, we're learning something new today. That's great. Oh, that's funny. That's really clever and funny. Thanks. Um, that's good. Yeah, that, that's that military trainer right there for you. <laughs> tango. I, well, I don't have like to use the, the phone alphabet constantly now. Whiskey Tango definitely rings a bell. <laughs> it's, it's W and a T. Whiskey Tango. Yep. He is November, Charlie, Oscar, Mike. Yeah, no, we got it. We got it. Yeah, I had to learn <laughs> that for a job. Not fun. Um, I was going to say something. Uh, that stupid song, um, The the Old Town Road, oh my god, fucking destroy me. I hate that song so much. And like, I, don't get I live in a state where country, literally, I came from San Diego, which was maybe one country station, most of it pop, some reggae, lots of hip hop and rap stations. I mean, ideal. You know, the ideal... Uh, uh, radio because you get the stations from LA, you get the stations from Mexico. It was awesome. You got great music. I come to the Midwest and it's all country stations, one Christian talk radio station, a worship Christian station, and like maybe one top hit station. And it's just like, like I don't listen to the radio. Fuck the radio. I just listen to a podcast. Yeah, I never, I, I never listen to radio either because they have just so many commercials on now these days. It's like, 
five minutes oh, of music yeah. and then ten minutes of commercials. But I would just still songs, take so. <laughs> country music over fucking Dutch schlager music. What? <laughs> it is the what? worst. It's horrible. It's like this typical... Like, kind of inspired from the German schlager. It's kind of like, it's accordion, and it's preppy, and I just, uh, it's horrible. Uh, just uh, remind me to link you some stuff later. Let me share my trauma with you. Yeah, just, just, just happy accordion music, and it's the worst. It is the worst. And, like, one minute you're just driving along, you're like, well, I'm not really feeling my music today. Maybe I'll try the radio again. All right. Oh, hey, ACDC. This is nice. All right. I'm liking this. Next song. Okay. Some, some, something from the more modern charts. Okay. No, this isn't bad. This isn't bad. And then the fucking Franz Bauer comes on and you just want to kill yourself. <laughs> it's the worst, guys. It's the worst. Dutch Schlager. Trust me. It's terrible. Terrible. All right. And um, that was a nice little music interlude by Team Cow Plant. <laughs> um, I will also give you this moment to go take a pee break because you've probably hydrated a lot in the first. <laughs> I will hydrate with you. <laughs> Let's play some Dutch slug and music while you're on your pee oh, break. <laughs> <laughs> Please take this interlude for your pee break and it just plays Dutch slogger music. From oh, the my God. That's the type of music that gets you constipated. I'm not even. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> Everything oh, just, just seals everything up. Everything just, just like, seizes up and you're just like, mm, no. Uh, <laughs> oh my words. God. When you first were talking about it, I thought you meant like the like the German uh like death metal movement. God I wish. And like so God I wish. Like so no. I was like, listen, I'm like, there's like a No, Dutch think later Hosen. I mean, like, think more later, Hosen. There you go. I was not expecting that. There you go. Like the you like the noise. Nope. It's (laughs) that makes me so happy. It's just accordion. Okay. So back to back to this. Back to this. Uh, I will say, the Doc Den, the Bro household. That house is badass. I do like take all the furniture out and redo it, but I really like that house. That's on the Uh, yes, Um, man. But let me tell you, like. That Villarreal estate, I, I just yeah, I evict them, oh, and I yeah. legitimately hate like large houses like that. But it's just so pretty. Yeah. yeah. Nice. I I wait wait. Oh, I'm sorry. You're talking about the Villarreal's house. Mm-hmm. Okay, I thought you were talking about the Von Hot Von Hunt estate. Oh no, the Von Hunt estate is really nice too. But I don't I don't ever I don't think I've ever like. It's not a. It's not a um, people. Nobody lives there. No, no. It's like a like a what? It's like a library or not a library? Uh, a museum. Which I wish there were more museums like that. It's just like a big old house, and there's all these plaques, and it's sh- you know it's like the bedroom and the kitchen and all that, and you like read about the the people who lived there. Basically, like that is such a cool concept. I love and and if you are at the von Haunt ha- estate. And just keep walking past the estate down like a little hill. There's a beautiful place to get married by a waterfall. No. Have you guys seen that? Um, I yeah. don't usually get yeah. married because that involves putting another person in my household. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So like you're in the Von Hot ha- <laughs> estate. To your right, there's a um, hedge, right? So you just keep going back. You just walk your sim and I think there's like the there's like a bunch of arches like you know leafy arches you just walk past all of those and there's this beautiful archway wedding archway there's a little piano I don't think there's chairs you just have to make your sim stand but it's so lovely and there's all this water in the background it's a great place I love it that's like one of my top places to get married for sure so um I know that I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't do the whole marriage thing. I don't do the whole kid thing. I just live my life as a single person who paints with her cats. It's me. It's me in the game. <laughs> um, <laughs> except I don't paint. <laughs> um, okay. So the Von Haunt estate, by the way, is a meeting house for one of the fucking clubs there. We will mention the clubs. There are a lot of clubs and um, you will 
and you know what I realized maybe it's because it's the it's just kind of how I the people that I make or whatever but I've never gotten invited to half of these clubs the only people who ever asked me to be part of their club are like the um the the party ones the party house and the renegades they're the only ones who ever invite me to be part of their clubs and I'm like do I make like dude bros that's so funny because I always get um, the garden gnomes and the um, yeah and the knights. Me too. Knights I don't even of garden or whatever. Those are the only only two I get like consistently. <laughs> I I get. I mean, it's so we'll talk about those in a second. But before we go, we're gonna talk a little bit about the townies, just like very vague, very very briefly, because we always say that townies have no. Um, backstory and these guys have like personality yeah they have no story they have no chill but these ones kind of do like i mean they do and they don't like uh, like i think they do they 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 don't have like you know a lot like um great skills but you can tell that they did really care about these townies and putting their kind of stories together so yeah i think that's better than one of my one of my favorites is uh, yuki and candy because mm-hmm. I love them. Candy Bear is just the the best. I love her so much. I always want to be BFFs with her. Yeah, she's cute. So, Yuki and Candy recently inherited a quaint, modest home from the dearly departed Grandma Bear. Geeky teen Yuki absolutely idolizes her cool DJ sister, Candy, but Yuki's got some mad skills of her own. I love Yuki, by the way. She's my favorite. She may not so be cute. the edgy spin master Ked Candy is, but she can annihilate anyone at bu- at Bilk block, which is Bl- that little Blick block, Blick block, block. Thank you. She's also quickly becoming Windenberg's most infamous underground hacker. Yuki is my absolute favorite. Like I, mm, she's great. If I do play a townie, I usually play her. I mm-hmm. want to be. I always like try to befriend her with my other. I just she's the greatest. Me too. I always make my Sims befriend Candy and Yuki for my. What did I say? My Sims. Yeah, right? Okay, <laughs> my Sims befriend Candy and Yuki. They're awesome. They just they and they have skills. So if you play, I don't, I I'll be honest. I hate their fucking house. I move them out of that house and put them in a better house, usually downtown. But, um, but their it's skills our grandma's are grandma's house. Oh, they I they just, inherited it from Grandma Bear. Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> oh, uh, Grandma Bear. I just. I'm sorry, Grandma Bear. It just makes no sense to me. And the layout is dumb. And I hate how it's decorated on the inside. I mean, I like that they made their rooms, like, very personable. Like, they have all their posters and their computers and everything. It's cute. But, oh, God, I hate the house. (laughs) The anger. The disgust at this house. I don't mind it. But, um, I know, right? So then you have the... The Bergers and say it again, Ava. Bjergsen. There you go. Family. Um, they have um the dad, the mom, and then like they, it's like always like two kids, two point five children. They never have like more than that. It's really weird. Um, but uh, so they have them, and they're the weird little. I think the blonde. They're the blonde family, right? Oh yeah, all blonde. Yep. So much fun. So so Nordic, so Swedish ish mm-hmm. Nordic. And if you have the height mod installed, I always make them like all the tallest setting. <laughs> Cause I just imagine they're this these you, you know have, you have that height mod? Is it good? Like doesn't it make them look amazing. all janky? No. The only issue is when they kiss because they just kiss each other's foreheads and necks, you know? Oh, yeah. But other than that, it's the perfect mod. I, I love it. I li- we should do it, like a bonus episode about that or something of all the heights because I have very specific heights that I make all the townies that fit with like their, I don't know, like their personality. Like I always make Elsa taller than Bob Pancakes because I feel like that is their dynamic. Yeah, you know. Okay, I'm intrigued now. I, I think I'm gonna download it. I'm gonna give it a give it. A it really is good. Good. I yeah, it. and like if you make any of the Sims extremely tall or extremely short, they will look weird on the um uh the info panel at the bottom you know where your little sims head pops up when you're clicked on them Mm -hmm. they will be taller or shorter on that too oh yeah so like 
for some for some sims i make really short like i usually make the bear sisters pretty short and they're like did you just see their little eyes or their nose just pop it out from the top of the <laughs> from the top of the um little square icon and like their little picture so i mean i wish it didn't do that but honestly it's like worth it to me to have realistic looking you know sims I don't think I've ever paid attention to like the fact that of their heights. And now I'm like, now I'm going to look through, but really that has yeah. always bothered me about the Sims. I, I love having the height mod installed. Cause I feel like it just makes more sense. You know, I don't know. It's like, of course the Bergenson family is going to be really tall. Of course the <laughs> Yuki and uh, fucking candy are going to be like, just these small, cute, like, I'm like the tiny but powerful. Like that's what I imagine their personalities are like. I don't know. I think in heights a lot, so I don't know why. But there you go. <laughs> it could be because my dad is like six four and my mom is like five foot. So like heights are a thing for me. <laughs> there, there you go. So you also have the bro household. Um, that's tech savvy hunk Sergio. These are their words, not mine, guys. Um, and brash DJ Joaquin have little in common except for the finer things in life. As they climb the ranks and rake in the bucks, just how awesome can they make their sweet pad? Not gonna lie, I played them and they end up dating. You're welcome. They are really cute together. I made them date. Yeah. I was like, this is a thing. I feel like you're going to, I mean, because uh, Sergio hates kids. And, um, like, I think Wine Joaquin just this cute little, like, lovable little, like, entertainer dude. I just, I thought they'd be cute together. So, they no, they make, like, they make more sense together. Because especially, yeah, especially because Sergio hates kids. So, like, he's not a great candidate for, like, the 100 Baby Challenge, you know, or, like, know. or, like, like, legacy stuff. And then Joaquin has the little uh, DJ headphones around his neck and like a pink floral shirt so he's like kind of like the cool like ooh, look at me blah 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 so they are a cute couple i like them yeah i mean that would that happened in my it was actually like i just was having them like keep talking to each other and you know because i want they don't really have like that good of a relationship when you first start out with them mm-hmm. so then i was like keep being friends keep being friends oh I guess we're gonna, and then they got, like, I think you got, one of them was flirty for some reason, and then just, like, morphed, it morphed, okay? It was organic, and it happened, and I loved it. Yeah, they're cute. Uh, So it wasn't just, like, and now kiss. (laughs) (laughs) All I can think of is, like, it's, like, I I what it was when it was, like, a little kid, little girl's head, like, smushing her doll's heads together, like, (laughs) pretty much. (laughs) (laughs) No. Oh, fun um, fact about Sergio. Mm-hmm. Um, it is possible that Sergio is related to Paul Romeo from the Vintage Glamour stuff, who can be downloaded from the gallery. In addition to their last name, they share an addition to their last name. Oh, wow, I'm dumb. I thought Sergio was the last name for a second. Okay, here we go. Um, They share the active, materialistic, and business savvy traits and the inspiration to be fabulously wealthy. So it could just be lazy uh, uh, coincidence, or they are related. They're like brothers or... Or is Paul Romeo the secret husband of Sergio (gasps) Romeo? Dun, dun, dun. Intrigue. He leaves him and finds Joaquin. Oh. I like this. Days of our plum bob. You know, Keep it going. Days of our plum bob. Days Keep our plum it bob. going. Somebody, somebody make this and then send us the the whole, un, you know, what the story. The drama that falls. Yes. Mm-hmm. Down for this. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay, but like, so fun fact, have- um, I wanted to do some more research for this pack. Really get like familiar with it again. So this morning, I know, shocker, I'm on time again. This morning I started a new game and uh, I made a sim with stories and she turned out to have the fabulously wealthy aspiration and uh, she's a snob and she lives in Windenburg now and she's getting along really well with Sergio Rome- uh, Romeo and since they both have the same aspiration I'm just I'm just like I, I might I might have them smash I'm just saying. Ooh, they would they would they would be smashed. perfect for each other. Like I'm sorry, Joaquin, but that's just the way it works. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. It's just the way it works, Joaquin. It's where the, it's where the cookie crumbles. <laughs> what you gonna do? Mine now. 
there's the free spirit household um and that is bookish make micah micah sure. micah Mike. there's Mike. too many a's my no, micah 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 Mike. Mike. sure and artsy Urika. okay art materialistic but even these two <laughs> Even these two roommates admit they could use a few upgrades around the house. Yeah, their house sucks, True. by the way. Yeah, yep. Um, will Ava Micah be able to sell a few stories, or will Ulrika finally be finally put out a painting that meets her ex- exacting standards? Yeah, no, seriously, like their house really sucks. It's yeah. funny because um, Micah is a total snob. And it makes me laugh oh, because yeah. her house is shit. <laughs> and her outfit is horrendous. Yeah. And her oh, haircut is horrendous. I'm all about having a fucking cute ass pixie haircut, work in a skirt with a blazer, but and socks with shoes. Fucking work it, Micah. But not in the way you did it. I <laughs> always put her in like a cute, like the fucking um uh, like I love that outfit, just not on you. I know I hate the outfit. I love her. I hate the outfit. Oh. She, I get the um fucking um, I put her in other stuff, but what really suits her is the Harry Potter CC. What's it called? Um, the puffer, pa- the puffer, puffer head. Puffer head. Yeah, that suits yeah. her. I'll put her in the high socks, the cute shoes, one of those smaller skirts, because girl is already hippie, which I love, and then she's in this giant ass huge skirt that just does nothing for her shape. So I put her in a cute little short skirt or something a little tighter, and then just a tighter top, and not this huge bulky blazer that just swallows her frame because she's also for some reason someone I imagine is kind of shorter so I just put her in like more form-fitting clothes that's modern give her much better cc pixie hair um Ulrika Ulrika is Ulrika is a lot better she's cuter she's got a tattoo she's got a dark eyeliner she's fine she works I always change your hair but she's fine but the other girl I just can't I just can't. She's in this horrible skirt and I can't handle it. <laughs> <laughs> Briss got opinions about these have, like, a German inspiration because like their house as well is called a uh, cottage mm-hmm. am See, and that like means cottage near the lake. No wait, is it? Yeah, because wait, this is this is fucking annoying in German. See means lake, and Meer means. C. Think. Lake C. Can I Google this now? <laughs> Frantically Googling. <laughs> well, while she figures that out, I'm just going to go with the fact that I um, just hate their house, guys. Oh, yeah. Like, the, their house needs to be just demolished. I just can't. I can't. Um,. So then we have the Fires family, which makes me laugh because think of Fire Festival. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> um, so things couldn't be better between Lovebirds, Dominic, and Moira. Too bad the same can't be said for their daughters. Free Spirit Morgan just wants to have fun with her renegade friends, but Siobhan can't stand that attitude. So, side note, when I was a kid, I thought Siobhan, the way it spelled for her, it was Sioban. Zahobin. Yeah, it looks like that. It does. Um, is determined to build a network of popular friends who can help her career aspirations. Will Siobhan move out on her own before the tension in the household explodes? So, hands down, this is my favorite family in <laughs> the game. One, because it's kind of like a like a modern twist on um, the Pleasant. Not the Pleasant. Um, yeah, yeah, the Pleasant family. Mm-hmm. The I pleasant. mean, but the, the nice Pleasants, because obviously Dominic and Maura love each other. But, like, the idea that they have these opposite twin daughters and there's, like, the tension there I love. Yes. I miss that family. The Pleasants were amazing for some drama. Oh, yeah. I always played them. They're awesome. And I like the fact that they were probably inspired by the those famous twins where one is black and the other one – or one parent is black and the other parent is, like, ginger, basically. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they had twin daughters. And one of the daughters, you know, has Afro texture hair, darker skin. And the other daughter is super fair with red hair. And that's how they, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Morgan. I've seen those pictures. That's amazing. Yeah, I just, I just kind of love that whole family. Like, I love how much they don't like each other. <laughs> I know that's what's funny about it. And like, what I like to do is, so I make Dominic really tall and I make Moira really short. But this height pack. I love it. It's amazing. <laughs> I I got it months ago. I don't know why I haven't been talking about it, but. Um, <laughs> I always make them that like really extreme heights because they all look so extremely different from each other. So I make them extreme heights and then I make Morgan really uh, tall, like her dad. So I kind of imagine that Morgan takes after her dad. She's like the free spirit. She wants to run around, have fun. And then I imagine that Shabon takes after Moira and they're both more into like the social gossiping, running around town, blah, blah, blah. Like, so I don't know. I like the juxtaposition of that. It just is interesting. Yeah. So I joined the Paragons in my most recent playthrough, the my test play- playthrough, and literally the only three things that they want to do is one, change clothes, two, drink coffee, three, terrorize the para- the renegades. <laughs> I mean, I mean, kind of my that's kind, all. Of, kind of my kind of group, man. I know. It is funny, like. um then that that family, the Fires family, they have so many closets in their house. There's literally a closet in like fucking every room. It's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna speed through real quick. Oh, I got the confirmation. By the way, oh. uh, it is indeed. Sea in German is Meer, and Lake in German is See. So, you know, in case you thought the French were complicated. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go back. To the Villarreal family, we skipped some families. Really, it's not that big of a deal. Like, there's fucking townies. But the Villarreal family is a little interesting because of this. All right. So, after Jacques' wife disappeared under <clears throat> mysterious circumstances, he was left raising three kids in his enormous mansion. Luna and Hugo are good kid, good, good kids, <laughs> are good kids with typical teen problems. But the youngest, Max... He's a terrifying force of nature. Will the kids drive Jacques crazy before his eccentric habits and hobbies drive them crazy? Okay, not gonna lie. Uh, this family creeps me out. Uh, yeah. The dad is erratic and dastardly, and he's a criminal. And can we talk about how Max is evil? Yeah, and Max is a child. It is evil? Yes, Max, Max is, is evil. evil. He's a child. I'm pretty sure Max and the dad killed the mom. Oh, no, I bet Max killed the mom and the dad covered it up. Okay, so let's just explain this for a second. So Jacques is the father. He was an elder. Mm-hmm. Luna and Hugo, I assume, are twin teens. Um, and they're very, very milk toast vanilla people they they aren't very interesting at all luna's like nice wants to be friends with people hugo's a foodie whatever fuck him max they're literally pieces of paper yeah a literally piece of paper max is evil he's a rambunctious scump aspiration rambunctious scump rambunctious scamp yeah, by the way and he's <laughs> in the um uh isn't he the leader of the renegades I forget. No, not as a child. I forget who is the leader. Oh, no, it's the Wolfgang guy. Anyway. Uh, no, no. He is the leader of the Renegade. He is. That's what I thought. He is. But a as fucking a child. child is as the a child. leader of teenagers and adults in the Renegade where they cause mayhem and do all this shit around town. So that, he killed his mom. that is the big question. A lot of people think Shock did it. Because I don't know why that's the typical thing. The husband did it. You know, the husband did it. But I agree. I think that Max did it. And that Luna and Hugo don't know. And Jock is trying to cover it up. I think that is 100% the what happened. Because why would they say Max is a terrifying force of nature? That's a very, like, scary thing to describe a child. <laughs> <laughs> True, and there's also the idea that he killed her in the um, the fucking um, uh, the I've heard um, like 
tossed her off the cliff at the bluffs because they live on that island. But I, I've also heard that she's like buried in the um, not really, but just like a theory is that she's buried in the um, the hedge at the uh, Von Haunt estate. Like, oh, she, that's where well, she, maybe, she, um, maybe she's under the hot tub with the Bella Goth. Oh, <laughs> no, um, that John <laughs> buried her in under the hedge in the von haunt estate so that's like another i mean i wouldn't be surprised so that house is interesting you want to play it that way they're creepy (laughs) so um also you get a whole bunch of new cast stuff you get i mean you get a crap ton of new cast stuff new build by stuff you get some new traits um you get an insider and a dance dance machine um the insider likes to be in the clubs and the dance machine obviously likes to dance duh um, and then you get a new aspiration, like you want to be leader of the pack. So basically, you want to um, join a club, and then be in a club. You, you just you want to be part of the club part. Well, you have the to club. like, yeah, you have to have a good reputation club, or you have to have a certain amount of club points or whatever. There's like very specific things you have to do in the club for that aspiration. So there is like a bajillion different clubs. You can create your own club. There's also a fuck ton of clubs, like clubs. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, Babes. there's zero like- Aces. What? What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god, Ava. Pulling it out of the bag. <laughs> I regret nothing. Okay, so there's the, okay. I'm just gonna list the clubs. There's a lot. So there's Avant Guard. The, they want to talk about literature and shit. The Garden Gnomes obviously like to garden. Knights of the Hedge. I mean, they're a chess club. Um, League of Adventurers. They like to adventure. The Paragons. They want to do good. Um, Party House. What do you think they like to do, guys? The Powerhouse. They just want to work out in the gym all the time. They're the weirdest fucking club ever. <laughs> um, the Renegades. Uh, they just want to be badasses. The Spin Masters, they um, want to, of course, be DJs and shit like that. The Good Timers, a.k.a. the Day Drinkers. <laughs> <laughs> they are the club I'd be part of. <laughs> they're my club. <laughs> Except they're written by that weird, creepy, blonde guy, Bjorn. Um, the Upper Crusts, they're just the bougie ones. And then... Um, and then there's a replacement club. So if you like get rid of certain clubs, which you can delete and add, you can make your own clubs. It's how people do cults, by the way. The cult challenge is mm-hmm. how that works, is making a club. Um, but if you delete certain clubs and then you have less than 11, then they'll like randomly put in more clubs to make you have at least 11 clubs. And they are hilarious. Like there's club, there's like um, – Club cosplay, cl- checkmates, the complimentary colors, the covenant bonds, dive club, guild of gamers. Like, this just the most random clubs that'll pop in if you don't have enough clubs ready. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, just for the halibut is my favorite. By the way, <laughs> yeah. The- okay, I want I want to know more about the Society of Sixum now because that sounds badass. Well, yeah, <laughs> and you know what? The Society of Sixum would do great in like Strangerville, probably. Would Probably, um, but you can make your own club, and then you can like set like um, things that you have to have to be part of the club. You can invite people to your club. Clubs are insane, and let me talk about how I never use them, <sighs> um, and I hardly ever join them, and I get annoyed because they will call you. Like if you have certain traits, they'll be like, "Hey, bro, I see that you're using that weight machine. Do you want to join the powerhouses?" And I'm like, "No." I don't go away, Marcus Flex, and you hang up the phone. <laughs> <laughs> or like, oh, I see that you have a bookshelf in your house. Do you want to know about, um, you know, being in the book? It's like, no, no, I don't. I do <laughs> no, I don't. I don't want to be part of any of this. Yeah. So, oh, I yeah. see you have an empty planter in your garden. Well, yeah. the garden gnomes. No, please fuck off. Please fuck <laughs> off. Please fuck off. All of this is a no. It's very annoying. Um, um, it's very, it's very, very. And annoying. there is a. I'm trying to remember now. There's an elite club that's really hard to join. They have to go to you. Um, it's called. Is it called like the Diamond Club, or the? 
I'm, I'm researching it right now on Carl, uh, Carl Sims for a guide, but there's some kind of, because I've only gotten it like twice and it's, I'm pretty sure it's not the upper crust. It's, it's called something else like elite club or diamond club or something. And it's basically, I mean, it's like the upper crust, but it ha- it's only for people if they're really rich. We probably need to do a whole episode on clubs. Should we just do a whole episode on clubs? Will. Okay, then I won't. Yeah, I think we should just do a whole episode on clubs because there is a lot. Mm. And um, yeah, and everybody knows about. that clubs are weapons of war, right? <laughs> no, sting shape of my heart. Did a thing with the sugar yeah. babes once since we were talking about that on the Discord. Oh, the sugar yeah. babes. Yep, <laughs> they did a version of uh, shape okay, of guys. my heart with sting. Um, just saying, it's a good song. Can I just say? <laughs> The club system is fucking weird because they included that you can have sex. <laughs> what? Do you guys, you guys see that? If you make yeah, a yeah, club, yeah. it can be kiss other members, woohoo other members, blah, 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 blah. So, so you can make a secret sex call. Basically, they made like uh, Orgy Central. Yes. If that's what you want to do. Oh my God, I combine that with Wicked Whims and you got yourself a party, yes. man. Yes, if you have Wicked Whims installed and Get Together installed, there will be a special Wicked Whims thing where it's actually like have sex or whatever with certain people or whatever with the club. And if you have um, uh, Extreme Violence mod, it can be the violent, like kill other Sims or whatever too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or punch them or whatever. And like you can tell because there's a little, when you're putting the club together, there's little icons by each, you know, read a book or whatever. There's like a book icon. But with Wicked Whims, you'll see the Wicked Whims little heart, purple heart thing. You'll see that by it. And with the extreme violence, you'll see whatever the extreme violence icon is. So you'll see what it is. Hmm. The more you know, yep. it's a little thing. But Little thing. There you go. So if you didn't know that, or if you like Wicked Whims and you've been debating on Get Together and you want a sex cult, there you go. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I think we should like wrap this up. And what we're going to do is probably we're going to just have to do a whole thing on clubs. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to wrap this up. We're going to, we're going to just, we've just decided that we're going to do a two parter. We're going to talk about the clubs in another episode because dear God, there's way too much talk about the clubs. And I don't want to just skim over it, especially if you don't know much about clubs. I don't want to skim over it. I want to make sure that you guys get like in there. Um, So we're going to move ahead to our segment. What just happened? Marissa, you want to go ahead and read that one up? I sure do. Uh, Pamela reached out to us on our Facebook page. Thanks, Pamela. She said, Get your moment to shine, Pamela. <laughs> she said, just discovered this podcast, and I'm skipping around, and I started listening to the Sims Fail episode by Cowplant. They seem so shocked that people don't pause when they step away. I leave mine that was on oh yeah, vanity. I leave mine on all night and get excited to see what happened while I was sleeping. Also, my game says I played like two thousand hours since it's running twenty four seven. Oh well. I have MCC C and Wicked Whims, so generally it's new pregnancies. A lot of children. I'm an island living now, so they all seem to spend their time jet skiing around and getting stuck on islands, lol. Oh, and I remember one time I woke up and found out that the teenage daughter had gotten pregnant and the dad died of anger and the entire family was sad for days. Um, then she replied, I just got home from work and my previously happy married couple with three kids maxed out friendship and relationship bars was all red and throwing down in the street outside their house. I have no idea what happened. Oh. That's like a hard and fast way to play the Sims. Like, damn, like that's the, she, the fact that she leaves it running 24 seven, like while she's at work and sleeping, that's like, that's dude, fair game to you, Pamela. That's amazing. That, that gives me anxiety. That I think that's, I think that's a very good way to play because you'll get through generations fucking a lot quicker. You know what I mean? If you're just letting it go. But like, I would want to know what happened. Yeah, that and everyone's it's, mad it's, and throwing down like the street. It's not like where you have those memories and stuff where it shows you when something significant yeah. happened. It's just like, well, this is what they are now. It's like, yeah, but what happened? Did someone say something wrong or did someone do something wrong? Like, why? What just happened? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> 
Oh, lordy. Okay, so, oh, Ava, that's a correction. Yeah, apparently in the last segment when I was talking about the uh, weather machine, I said water machine? Did I? I can't remember. Well, no one noticed, so. <laughs> well, it was a weather machine, obviously. Obs, obs. All right, so coming up next, you will, um, Llama is going to do the review of Island Living. Going over to Solani, even though summer's almost over, except if you're in Texas, because it's fucking hot. <laughs> I'm kind of jealous because kidding. I love that pack. It's 102 degrees. 102, 103, I don't know what that is in Celsius, but it's fucking hot. It's over it's 40. Bullshit. How are you still alive? I don't, I don't know. Like, I literally don't know how I'm still alive. It was 104 the other day, and I was like, why? Um, so, yeah. Uh, we return, if I don't melt, um, with a, st- a steaming helping, which sounds like poop, <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> of Sims Nostalgia. That's right. We're going off script, and you're going to fucking love it. We're going to talk about just, we're gonna just going to have a moment in the sun. With all of the things we miss about the I'm going to reminisce about our first Sims experience, about our favorite Sims mm-hmm. stuff packs or that games, heart, and just talk about all the th- things bed. that make us happy. That heart shaped oh. bed, the heart shaped hot tub, the, the, yes. bed. the oh, bear rug. So oh, that hottie mm-hmm. guy that was in, what was his name? He lived, with his, he lived with the old lady and he was super hot with the ponytail, remind me of Brad Pitt. Yeah. So it's gonna great. be great guys <laughs> fucking great so good um i actually recently so- started replaying the sims one because we were doing the test stream because yeah guys i'm gonna be doing a sims one stream soon ish hopefully in september at some point um so you should tune in for that on twitch but i started replaying it and it was just i thought most like most people think it's the graphics that are gonna bug them but honestly that doesn't bother me what bothers me most is like the controls you can only zoom in like oh twice my gosh, yeah. you can only look at the whole lot from four angles yeah. and weird you don't have like you don't have the eyedropper tool or stuff like that it's it's quality of life man it's the little <laughs> things it's the little yeah things. the camera controls are weird in sims 4 or fucking oh god i need to go back to bed okay it can just 1. ignore me <laughs> <laughs> we we have a shout out by the way guys we do yeah heather mm-hmm. um marissa you want to read that one okay no no I'm, I'm sorry i didn't have coffee this morning so i'm just all over the place all right shout out heather via our email under the plum bog podcast at gmail.com Heather says, I stumbled upon your podcast about The Sims. You ladies are hilarious. It certainly makes my work day fly by. I am almost caught up with all your episodes. I listen to your podcast while I do my real life job, and it really passes the time. My coworkers are always wondering what I'm laughing about. Of course, none of my coworkers can relate. I guess they are too cool for The Sims. I just listened to the podcast about the creator of The Sims. It was very interesting. My dad was a computer guy, and my brother and I each had our own computer to do homework. That is when I discovered SimCity. It was so much fun. I missed out on Sims 2 due to having kids, but I didn't miss out on Sims 3, and now I have graduated to Sims 4. Okay, sorry to be long-winded here. Payback for your rants, I guess. Haha. <laughs> Keep doing your podcast. Sims has saved my life. Love you guys. Keep me laughing. Hello, Heather. You're so adorable. Yeah, and it, you don't don't ever apologize for the length of your emails. I Never. mean, hello, hi, team hello. Team. Yeah, have you heard a podcast of us? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then we have an Apple review. Ooh, from Simmer thirteen. It says, "Hi, I love this podcast so much. It makes me laugh, and it's nice to hear other people talk about the Sims, not just me." Hashtag stoves for vanity. I hope I spelled your name right. I mean, Simmer13, you didn't, but it's okay. No one ever does. It's totally <laughs> fine. <laughs> oh, no. We got to get that hashtag like e- made <laughs> so people know it. That's so sad. <laughs> Poor Vanity. Can we put okay. that on one of our mugs? Hashtag Stoves oh, for God, Vanity. Yes. That That'd be mug. so funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's okay. It's totally fine. I'm I, like I said. I, I've I've heard different inclinations of my name over the last thirty three years. It's it's totally fine. Thank you for just oh, wanting yeah. to know my name. It's all bad to me. All right. So 
we've been talking for uh-huh. 70 million years um, and I've had to pee for about 15 of these years. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> so we're going to do uh, social media plugs. If you want to talk to us on a more intimate basis, I'm not talking about like that kind of intimate guys. I mean, like, every day just chit-chatting with us and other people in the simulation nation our simizens if you will we have a patreon um you can find our patreon on patreon and then um how many times <laughs> you can find patreon our patreon on, on patreon with the website patreon.com <laughs> <laughs> um but yes yeah, so you can do that and then you, in any um, donation that you make gets you part of the Discord channel, which means you can talk to us at all times. Some of us, somebody is always in there, and we're always chit chatting, and it's really a lot of fun. And you can help do the captions for our Sunday posts mm-hmm. on social media. You get cake, um, or give us episode suggestions. Yes. You get cake. Mm-hmm. Shay always gives you the cake. beautiful theories about the Villarreal family that was directly asked from one of our patrons. Yeah, that one was for you, Dom, because you're the best. You are hashtag the best, Dom. Um, and then, so you don't, and BTW, you do not have to join our Patreon. We're not like, you know, saying you have to do it. We're always going to keep doing this for free, free, free. So you don't have to be like, you don't have to pay us for it. But if you want to, you can. We also have merch. So merch is cool. And you can get mugs and you can get uh, shirts and you can get tote bags. And we're thinking of, we're putting different stuff on the shirts and tote bags and mugs too, different sayings, different hashtags, maybe hashtag stoves for vanity spelled with an mm-hmm. I, not a Y, whatever. Um, but yes. And then if you want to just like tell us about your fails, which we always want to hear. So please, please, please give us all your fails. Yep. You can make it, make it us feel better about our fails by telling us about yours. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Especially if they involve merch. <laughs> um, um, you can do Plum Bob Cast on Instagram and Twitter. Please remember that we are Plum Bob Cast on Twitter, not under the Plum Bob on Twitter. That is somebody completely different and not us. We are Plum Bob Cast. <laughs> All right. Um, Plum Bob Podcast on Reddit, under the Plum Bob Podcast on Facebook and Tumblr. And then our website is under the Plum Bob.com where you can email us or you can just email us directly at under the Plum Bob Podcast at gmail.com. We're also on Twitch and YouTube um, and all that fun stuff there. We're going to be putting more things on there. But the big thing is please rate and review and subscribe on all of those lovely platforms where you listen to your podcasts because that's how people know that we exist and um, that's how more people will know. Yeah, especially on Apple Podcasts. For whatever reason, that's what matters in society, which, you know, I don't. I don't think that. I don't think should, Apple should rule the podcasting community, but it does. So if, if you're listening on, you know, Apple, just just shout us out. Or Spotify. Spotify. Oh, really? Okay, too, Spotify so. too. <laughs> I don't know anything. <laughs> yes, yeah, but Apple's more. Apple is where like all your things are. But yes, go ahead. Anyway, um, but yeah. Also, thank you so much for listening, guys. Um, especially to. Julia and Roxy and did Becky do some uh-huh. Rebecca do some of this too for the extensive oh, yeah. drug and research. I mean y'all Oh yeah. It was extensive. It was a lot. Nineteen we pages. Greatly appreciate man. It. Nineteen mm-hmm. pages. 19 pages. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um thanks to the Sims Wiki because they gave us a lot. Um thanks to Carl. And we pulled up Carl quite a bit. At least I did. I pulled up Carl quite a bit in this episode. Mm-hmm. So yes. Go, Carl. Yes. <laughs> thanks, Carl. Go, Carl. Um, Carl and, oh, Marissa there. has her special thanks. Special thanks. Thanks, Tim. For work. <laughs> See? <laughs> Always, Tim. Um, and then uh, thank you guys for trudging through this episode. <laughs> but there are so many you tangents. Know, no, I'm actually impressed. I was going to say. We, I think we did really good with the tangents because there's so much content in this episode. We like had to keep trucking along to get all the information out of that get get together because there's a lot. It's a heavy pack, but I'm proud of us. We controlled our tangent ways, and I think this was a good episode, guys. (laughs) But um, thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for um, for subscribing and putting our stuff out there and like. 
telling your friends Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. um, thank you guys for validating us. Thanks for that. But anyway, we do it anyway. And if you didn't, but still thank you for caring. (laughs) No, I think, you know, this community is for the last probably fucking 17 years We've all just been on little lonely islands by ourselves thinking that we are weird for playing this game. And the fact that we can bring any solace to people who also love The Sims and don't have any friends that play it, like, that's what that's why we're here. We're here for you. We got you, boo. Totally. We got you. We got you. Got you. All right, guys. Well, I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> And then um, I'm also going to go get something to eat, but not at the same time because that's gross. So, yeah. I'm going to go back to the real world. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go check on my uh, my slow cooker turkey meatloaf because that shit smells delicious. It should be done by now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go back so, to sleep. Okay. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, bye. Bye. Good night, Marissa. Good night. Good night, Marissa. <laughs> Buddies. Dag dag.